Moss lives in Sydney, Australia. His father, Sam Moss, was a prominent businessman and philanthropist. He really came to Australia with absolutely nothing. And, and when my mother passed away, when in the, like he was only 46, she was 38, I became from when I was 17 or 18, around that time when I was finishing school. And I went to Yeshiva Gadola in Melbourne for a couple of weeks. I decided to stay for a year. At the end of the year, I wanted to stay for a lot. I wanted to stay longer. Um, Dad was very, very freaked out about the fact that I was wearing a yarmulke and that I had, was wearing my tzitzis outside. He was a Holocaust survivor. Between 1944 and 1956, my father did not walk into a synagogue. He was like so angry with what had happened to him. So he tried to convince me to leave Yeshiva after one year. And I said, definitely, I want to stay for another year. So he, he then decided that um, when he's in New York, he wants to visit the Rebbe. And he thought, you know, look, I'll give the Rebbe a few dollars and, you know, we'll sort it out and the Rebbe will tell me to leave. And I think that's what he had in mind. He came, he had Yechidus with the Rebbe and he walked in and, um, and he st stood by the Rebbe's table and the Rebbe asked him to sit. And Dad said that in Munkach we, um, we learned not to sit by the Rebbe. So the Rebbe said, so if you're not going to sit, I'm not going to sit. And the Rebbe came around the table and stood next to my father. So the Rebbe was very interested in the Mincha Salaza and his Minhogim and what was the Seder of the Yeshiva. And he asked a lot of questions about that. And then he asked like what happened to him in the ghetto and in Auschwitz and like everything that happened. And these Holocaust survivors, the ones who'd had really terrible times, didn't talk about it at all. I mean, I, I knew nothing about it really growing up. And during that time, while Dad was telling the Rebbe this, he broke down and started to cry. Um, and the Rebbe put his arm around him at some point. Um, he didn't say anything about me. He didn't ask anything about me. And by the end, he told the Rebbe a lot about what had happened to him. And the Rebbe held his hand and he said, don't worry, everything's going to be all right. And then he, and then the Yichilis was over and it was about 10 or 12 minutes or something. Um, and Dad said to me that after he left the Rebbe, he felt like that the whole oil, the whole sort of um, weight of the Holocaust had been lifted from his shoulders. My father was very good friends with Menachem Begin. When Menachem Begin was in opposition, he didn't have a lot of financial support. Dad was one of his financial supporters. He asked Menachem Begin, who do you think is the greatest leader of the Jewish people? And Menachem Begin said straight away, the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And my father said, that's like very strange. Like, why, why are you saying that? And he said, because he believes that the Rebbe has lifted up the whole generation after the Holocaust, that he, he, um, he helped the Jewish people believe, believe in themselves again. So that was very taken by the fact that Menachem Begin was saying that the Rebbe is the leader because the Rebbe has managed to, to help people really be, to help the Jewish people be proud of themselves again.